Sotheby's has been hosting a special travelling exhibition at their gallery space in DIFC. It includes one of the greatest collections of Orientalist paintings ever assembled. Forty works will be up for auction in just a few weeks' time. The auction overall is estimated to fetch up to 176 million dirhams. Lord Mark Poltimore is Chairman of Russia and Deputy Chairman of Sotheby's Europe. He's with us here in the studio this evening. Lord Mark, great to have you with us. Great to be here. So how is Dubai you know, viewed at the moment as a core market for Sotheby's? Well, we've been coming uh, to the region, to the MENA region, for over 20 years. But Dubai has such a special feeling about it. It's a great hub in the region, great cultural hub. So we decided to open an office here in 2017. Um, but, you know, we, we're planning so many many events, cultural events, educational events, traveling exhibitions, and we've seen since 2015 an increase of our core client base of over 40 percent. So, and I, I think it's going to continue. Would you say then that, you know, uh, art uh, painting is, is an asset or is it an, an investment? <laughs> I wish I knew the answer to that. I mean, the, 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 the obvious answer is buy what you like, and if it goes up in value, then I think you're a lucky person. But try and buy always what is the best. I, I think it's a mistake. And I had a very old and very distinguished godfather in the business. And he said, never buy um, 10 objects um, when you can buy one better one. Um, and that's exactly what I've tried to do all my life. I've always tried to buy the best that money can afford at the time. Now, in your experience, you know, if let's say one painting sells for millions, ten million dollars or whatever, is it likely that, you know, another painting from the same artist will also fetch a, a high price? No, th not at all. I mean, w you have to consider the provenance, the history of an object, you have to consider the condition of an object, the size of an object, the subject. You could get, I mean, this is an example I often use, I mean, Van Gogh's sunflowers, which everyone knows and loves, is fantastic, but if Van Gogh had painted a picture of a dead rat, might be a little bit more tricky to sell. I, he didn't, by the way, but if he did, it would have been a, a tricky one. Now, you're here in Dubai f to, um, to obviously talk with local investors and, well, art buyers about the upcoming auction, which is the Orientalist, um, you know, paintings auction. What's so special about it and what do you expect from UAE investors? Well, I've been in the market for over 40 years. In fact, I, I was in Dubai in 1975, but not in the art world. Um, but there was very little market here in those days. But in the 40 years I've worked in the auction business, I've never seen such an amazing collection of uh, Orientalist art. In fact, there are 155 pictures in this collection, but we're only tasked with selling 40. And we, we think it's worth, as you said in your, uh, in your piece, uh, in pounds at least 25 million. So this is a fantastic and probably the last opportunity to buy such quality. And um, so we have a number of clients in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai and in the Emirates as such um, who are really uh, keen to come to the sale and make, uh, 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 hopefully they'll come to sell and buy um, on October the 22nd in London. We're looking at some of these paintings now on the screen as you're, you're talking there. And, you know, obviously for you as the auctioneer, there must be an amazing sort of an adrenaline rush um, when you do this auction. Well, the heart does beat a little bit faster. And that, as I said, I've done it for many years. Um, I think one builds such a sort of relationship with the, with the sellers um, that I, you know, you feel a responsibility to them to get the best possible price. But once you're in the swing of it, a bit, a bit like an actor, once you've got through the first lot, you just carry on and roll out the numbers, hopefully. Well, we're going to look forward to uh, finding out exactly how the auction goes a little bit later this month. But Lord Mark Poultimore, appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.